Hey guys, it's Tuesday, March 19th. I am starting this weekly vlog a couple days late because I wasn't going to vlog this week, but then I realized that I'm going to the aquarium on Thursday and I wanted to vlog that and I don't know why I didn't want to vlog this week, maybe because I'm just like kind of in a reading slump a little bit. And I think my dad is like cutting the grass or something, but someone's mowing the grass really, really loud outside, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. But I have been writing an essay all morning, currently three o'clock in the afternoon, and and I'm gonna take a break. This is so crazy, but I recently just signed up online. There's a radio show called The Burt Show in Atlanta, and I, I don't know if it plays in other states as well, but they have this like show called The Big Break, where basically you send in your YouTube channel, and not this YouTube channel, but I'm sending in my main channel, and you talk about your story, and basically they just, from all the entries, and you get to go on the radio and talk about your YouTube channel and stuff, so I signed up for it. Don't know why I signed up for it. I'm like literally shaking even the thought of going on the radio <laughs> and like it's not like I'm even gonna get picked anyway but like even doing it I'm like proud of myself for doing it and I'm kind of just like really nervous for some reason I don't really know why so that's why I'm taking a break I'm <laughs> gonna go take a bath and like relax because I literally I take my CBD oil every morning so that really really helps with my anxiety but I took double today because I've been shaking so bad. Hopefully it kicks in soon because I am, I don't like this anxiety that I'm feeling right now. Last night I started Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi and I was reading The Gilded Wolves. Still haven't read very much of The Gilded Wolves at all. I'm just not in the mood to read a fantasy right now and if I don't finish it before the live stream on Saturday, that's okay. That doesn't mean I can't go and watch the live stream in the future after it already happens. So not gonna worry about that. But I wanted to read like a cute like contemporary love story type book and this is the only one that I have that I haven't read except for To All the Boys I Loved Before and I'm more in the mood to read this. So far I've gotten a lot of feminist vibes from the main girl character which is not a bad thing at all but she's Korean and she it it's very cliche the way it started. Basically she's at the Apple store and she's being bullied by these girls at her school at the Apple store. So I'm like, this is a really cliche, like, I'm gonna bully you because I'm popular, but I'm just gonna ignore that because I don't really let that bother me too much. I'm not gonna annotate this book or anything like that, I'm just reading it for fun. I, like, even from the cover of the book, I was like, I think this girl has some type of, like, Asian descent or whatever because from her hair, it just doesn't look like American hair at all. So I was like, this girl has to be, like, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, or something. So... She's Korean, so that's pretty cool. You don't see very many Korean main characters in a lot of books, so I'm gonna get take a bath and I'm going to read this. I'm not gonna look at my phone. I'm just gonna like chill out and relax and then go back to writing my essay for school that I don't wanna write, but I have to. It is eight o'clock at night and I'm on page 88 of Emergency Contact. Um, there's not been very much interaction between the two main characters yet and they haven't even talked enough to like exchange numbers like saying in the book. So yeah, it's just giving like backstories of both of their lives, kind of. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm not, it's good, but not. I'm in love with the books. We shall see how that keeps going. And online, I am really in the mood to just keep buying books. And I don't know why, because I haven't read literally 75% of my bookshelf. But I went ahead and bought the newer version of It by Stephen King, because I really want to read it. I know it's like 1,200 pages, but... I bought it, I bought Carrie by Stephen King, and then I bought A Curse So Dark and Lonely. It's like a newer like retelling of um, Beauty and the Beast, and I heard it was really good, so I bought that. And then, no, I didn't buy Those are the only three books that I bought, but they were like $50 for all three of them, and that's a lot for me because I usually buy books used, so I need to stop, but I wanted to buy those. And I'm also like really wanting to buy the new MacBook Pro. I have the, I have the 2015 MacBook Pro with Retina display, and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it goes really, really slow when it comes to video editing which I don't like obviously because that's what I do most of the time and my um 2011 Mac computer downstairs works faster than this does but I also don't want to get the new MacBook Pro because you have to buy adapters to use like an, your SD card USB 
because uh, the new MacBook has USB-C or whatever. So I don't know what I should do. Like, I don't know. I could sell this on eBay for like 700 bucks and easily pay for over half of a new laptop, but I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if, if I'm just being stupid and wanting to get the new MacBook. But one thing I do love about this MacBook is that the Apple logo lights up and the new ones don't do that. And I wish the new ones did because one thing I've always loved about MacBooks is that the little Apple lights up. It's just always something that aesthetically I I've always loved. So I don't know what I should do about my laptop. I don't know if I should get the new one and give this one to my dad because he's always wanted a Mac computer or sell that one and get a new Mac computer. I'm like debating like everything in my life right now. <laughs> I have the money to buy one brand new. Like do I want to do that? No. And yes. I'm just gonna keep reading but like I, I'm trying to continue to read but my mind's in like 80 billion different places and then tomorrow I, I do surgeries at work. I don't do surgeries but I help with surgeries on Wednesdays and those are my most stressful days. So every Tuesday night I pretty much just sit around and like stress out about the next day because I don't like helping with surgeries just because it stresses me out so much. So I'm like sitting in bed like panicking and my mind's in a billion different places and it stresses me out. I'm okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> so the two main characters of the book have finally exchanged numbers. Kind of logical reason, I guess. I didn't really like the way they exchanged numbers and everything, but whatever. I want to talk about the text talk because I've noticed this in a lot of books that require, like the storyline requires texting between two people and it really, really annoys me. I'll stop yelling now. FML, I feel horrible. Hope you didn't lose too much. They use you and a two sleep because of me, which is the BC is okay because I do that. I won't ask you to forgive me, but I hope you will. I don't know why, like I really am sorry, S T S2G, like swear to God. I don't know why it really just annoys me with that certain text talk, like sir, sorry, seriously, T-Y, I'm a dick, ugh. I don't know why, I just don't like that. I just feel so illiterate. Like do people actually like text that way? Do people actually use like a two? or like a you when they're talking to each other because I don't. Thursday, March 21st and I forgot to check back in about emergency contact but I did finish it Tuesday night at like three in the morning so technically Wednesday morning. Um, I rated it three stars and that's because I enjoyed it but I didn't really love it and because there wasn't really a plot <laughs> to the book at all, but I did really, really like the conversations between the two main characters, Penny and Sam. That's why I gave it three stars, because I did enjoy the conversations, but there wasn't really a plot. There wasn't much to the story at all, other than just good conversation, I guess, so. I don't even know if I'll keep this book. I'll probably sell it or donate it, because I didn't like it enough to keep it on my bookshelf. The only reason I do like it on my bookshelf is because the cover and the spine is so pretty. But uh, it is nine in the morning and I'm about to go to the Georgia Aquarium. That's why I am all dressed dressed up in my t-shirt. Um, we're gonna go to the Georgia Aquarium and yeah, I'm gonna vlog like the fish and the sharks and the whatever else they have there, jellyfish. And it's gonna be a fun time, so let's go.
just got home from the aquarium and I just have a huge, huge package in the mail from Amazon and I know it's the three books that I ordered a couple days ago. So I wanted to show you the books that I got. So first, I got the hard cover of A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmer or Kimmerer. And this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I've heard that it's a really, really good retell of Beauty and the Beast, which I've never read any type of like retelling of a Disney story book ever. So I wanted to give one a try. And like I said, I've heard really good things about this one. So I got the hardcover of this one. Then I got the mass market paperback of Stephen King's Carrie, which is actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, I think it was like $5 or something on Amazon. So I went ahead and picked it up because I want to start getting into Stephen King's writing. And lastly, the biggest book that I will read up until now. This one's wrapped up. They're like, this one's important. We got to wrap this one up. We've got It by Stephen King. It's thick AF. It is 1,153 pages long, and I believe this is like the the new edition that came out with the new movie, and I really, really wanted this edition because I absolutely love it. I don't know why I love it so much. I think it's just like the colors and just the smile and everything. It's very simple, but it looks really good, and then the outside is just red, and it says it. This is the first Stephen King book I think I'm going to try to read, which I know is very, very maybe stupid of me because like these books are pretty tiny, but I just really want to read this one just because I love the way it looks and it's huge and I just want to, I just want to read it now, but I know I need to start reading a little bit more with my TBR, so yeah. That is my little book mail. So I've been wanting to just really buy just like brand new books on Amazon because I've always been like a used book buyer. So I was like, I'm just gonna give myself this amount of money and I'm gonna buy books. And when I hit that amount, then I'm done. So I hit like 50 bucks or something like that with those three books. So I did. But anyway, I'm probably gonna go eat. I haven't eaten anything all day. I had like a cup of coffee, which is like wired me out. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't eaten anything all day and it's like five o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm gonna go eat, um, try to read a little bit more of the Gilded Wolves maybe. Or just like lay in bed and watch YouTube videos because I'm tired. It's Friday, March 22nd. I just got home from work and I had like eight packages at my door. One including a mattress that I have to do a sponsored video on my main channel. So I was like, yeah, this is a lot. But I got my used books monthly book mail. And this is the first month I have ever bought anything from this website. So if you guys are interested, it's called usedbooksmonthly.com. And it's basically this guy that runs like this whole warehouse just full of used books. And I think it's like $10 for two books or $15 for four books. And you tell them what your favorite genre is, what your favorite types of books are, and they try to pick books and they send you what they think you'd like from what they have at their warehouse. For $15, I got four of them. I wanted to try to see what they would send me. My dad has been doing this for a couple months now and he seemed to really enjoy it so i decided just to try it for a month so i could do a book mail section of the vlog so we shall see what they sent me hopefully they don't send me anything i already have i told them i liked fantasy romance mysteries and then you can type in a comment box like what types of books so i typed like young adult books because that's typically what i like but so i'm just gonna go ahead and open it up okay so here we have it. Everything is wrapped up. I see Lord of the Rings, which I've never wanted to read, but I'm going to. So we have Lord of the Rings Part 1, The Fellowship of the Ring. And then Lord of the Rings Part 2, The Two Towers, which even if I don't read this, I know my dad will because my dad likes the Lord of the Rings. I don't. I've never been interested in reading Lord of the Rings. I've seen all the movies and I really like them. So, I mean, it's good to have them. And if I'm ever interested in reading them, then I will. And then the next one looks really pretty, but I'm going to go for... They gave me way more than four books. There's like one, two, three, four, five. They gave me five books. 
This is called The Shards of Heaven by Michael Livingston is what this one looks like. So this relates to the Julius Caesar time period and it does not sound very interesting to me. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't sound very good. See if my dad will like it. If not, I'll just donate it. Next we have a hardcover called Firebug by Lish McBride. The cover looks really nice. So it's about a girl named Ava who is a firebug and firebugs can start fires with their mind and she gets caught in a deadly contract with a magical mafia. So she's their hitman for a mafia. That actually sounds really good. Pick and it looks really cool on the cover and it is hardcover. So there's one more which looks the prettiest to me. It's called The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. I feel like I've seen this before. It's definitely like young adult for sure because all of the people that are like reviewed it and stuff. It's like Cassandra Clare and things like that. So it sounds okay. I mean, I really, really like the cover. It looks kind of like blurry, but I got five books instead of four. I got one hardcover and then four paperback. <sighs> Out of all of them, the one that sounds the most interesting is this one. And I don't know if I'm going to keep all of these, but yeah, so it said I chose four books monthly and they gave me five. So I guess I can't really complain about that. And they did give me the genres that I chose. I prefer young adult, but I'm sure they don't have like tons of young adult books. Yeah, if you guys are interested in checking out this website and trying to get used books, I will put the link for the website down below um, if you guys want to check it out. I might do it for another month. I'm not sure though. Anyway, I am, it's Friday night, so I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'll be able, if I'll fall asleep before I read. I haven't read any of the Gilded Wolves in the live streams tomorrow. I probably won't be able to read it before the live stream tomorrow because I have a whole I have tons of videos I have to film tomorrow. So whatever. I'm I wanna add, I wanna go to the mall tonight and buy a new laptop. I don't know if I wanna do that either. So I, it's Saturday, March twenty third, and I tried to read the Gilded Wolves in time, but I'm honestly just not very interested in the book at all. Like it's just not grabbing my attention very much. So the live stream's going on right now, the books with friends one, and they're just roasting the book and everybody in the chat dnf the, not everybody but a lot of people in the chat dnf'd the book and i think i'm gonna do the same thing like i really honestly didn't read that much of it but i just don't feel like continuing and i hate that because i've tabbed some parts of it and like if i donate the book or try to sell it then i'll have underlines and tabs in it so i don't know but i i think i'm gonna put this book down maybe i'll read it again in the future but I'm just not really feeling it. So I think I'm just gonna pick up a different book. Not sure which one I'm in the mood to read yet, so we'll see. I decided to go ahead and pick up the next volume of The Vampire Diaries because it was on my TBR and I wanted to get another book from my TBR off the list. So I'm gonna read this. Hopefully I'll like it more than I liked the first one, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this weekly reading vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and you got to see some clips and stuff from the aquarium. I know I didn't really read much. Sorry about that, but I like to vlog anyway. So this is just a vlog, even just adding some books to it. So yeah, I'm gonna get to reading this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.